what would be the, uh, the biggest disappointments in games right now? Did you have like a disappointment or like a game that you were like, I'm so looking forward to this and it's it's just letting you down or or it's going to let you down. You know that it's going to, whether it's be mm -hmm. coming up or in the future, something that you were like, oh my gosh, this game I want to play. And it's just, you know, or you played it and it was just not yeah. it. Do you I have see, that? Um, yeah, as I have one, um, it's Dragon Quest Three, the the remake, the upcoming. Re I'm a huge fan of Dragon Quest. Oh, cool! And I'm not saying, yeah, yeah, I'm not saying that the game is gonna be a total disaster. Right. I am going to play it because I, I received it as a gift. But I am really, you know, I'm worried and also disappointed because we already know that they censored uh, lots of. Um, stuff and even I don't know if you're aware but we had an interview with the Dragon Quest creators and they were pretty you know pissed by the fact that they had to change and censor lots of stuff because of you know um basically because of politics but they didn't know this I mean they are Japanese they have no idea what happens in the West so for example just just so you so you can have an idea uh you cannot change between male and female anymore. It's type one and type two. Oh wow! And um, the the female warrior, they censored her art style uh, in game because she was showing too much skin. The troll's lips, they changed the colors because that could be racist, according to those kind of people. You know the kind of people I'm talking about, right? Right. And, right, right. Yeah, and. It, 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 it pisses me a lot because we are talking about a curious Toriyama legacy. The guy passed away earlier this year, and they are desecrating his art. They are showing literally zero respect for the legacy of that guy. And that's what pisses me the most about it, you know. So yeah, I mean, and this is a big disappointment. And yeah, this is the um. The, so you see, you see the the. The small shorts that the female warrior yeah. is wearing. Yeah. That's the censorship. She oh. was she was sitting she was supposed to have this. Yeah, uh, it's like it's yeah, it's the regular, you know, awesome otaku uh, you know, bikini armor, right? <laughs> what's wrong with this? Right. It's been like this. I mean, Dragon Quest 3 is a game, if I'm not mistaken, it was released in 80, 80, 87. Right, yeah, yeah, it's an OG. It's been like this since that time, but now it's now bad. right because those people are telling it is though they are again creating the problem to sell the solution, right? And you know, I would say that this is my this is the disappointment I have. You no, know, um, I still think that the game is going to be great in terms of gameplay and you know, right. this kind of stuff. But these aspects, you no, know, just knowing that they they desecrated Akira Toriyama's work is, wow, man, it's uh, it pisses me a lot. No, it, it's it's fully because I mean, okay, let's let's look at this from the Eastern perspective. If this was the developer, like the Korean developer that we have uh, with the Descendants, that could this is an option, right? You can pay to have shorts on her, or something like that right you could just have like a mod thing to it well and, if if it, I, I mean if it was shift uh if it was developers for first descendant i think what well, it's next if i'm not mistaken yeah i think you so you'll probably be able to pay to make her wear even less clothes you know, yeah right <laughs> but even if you even if you want to keep it to the design right even if you don't want to do kind of like crazy uh, mods to it. Like you don't want to have bunny ears and a maid outfit on her, right? Um, you could still, you know, have like, you know, maybe a different color armor or yeah, like a sexier armor or, le or heck, check this out. This is crazy. The original armor as design, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, as an yeah, extra, yeah. you would make money. Yeah, of course. Why are they and, so against um, making money? It's because their money doesn't come out of their pockets. Wow. Preach. 
that's 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 why you know they when when a game like this flop, it doesn't come out of their pockets. Mm. They just care about spreading the agenda, the the you know the their own personal political beliefs and worldviews and this kind of stuff. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. No, um. So, so in your opinion, this this could be kind of like at least story wise or the changes could be said that it's the one that you're most disappointed on you know of the tinker yeah. in it uh, yeah because uh the other games i really wasn't looking for it for them so i don't care a lot. but dragon quest as i said is one of my favorite uh, gaming franchises my favorite jrpg franchise so yeah, I was, you know, I was really looking forward to this, and I'm still in. Not gonna lie, I'm still in. No, but no, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I know I it has am. a lot of a lot of people are pre-ordering it, right? Yeah, I, I do think that it's gonna be a very good game, nonetheless, because it was designed by the original creator. The censorship is not his fault. So I mean, it, it, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what what would you think it's the like the biggest surprise? What what do you think it's gonna like surprise you and be like, this is it? Like what are you waiting for or what did you play that you were like, heck, this is this is it? Mm. I would say that the biggest surprise for me uh was this year, you mean, right? Yeah. Um the biggest surprise was Silent Hill 2. Because mm. I really, yeah, I mean, I didn't play the game and I don't think I will anytime soon. Mm -hmm. But I really wasn't expecting for so many people to enjoy that game because that game was looking like a terrible game, you know, by the trailers. But no, it mm -hmm. released and many people are enjoying it. Even though it had involvement with a, a, a DI consultancy, uh, which is uh, the hit detection. And right. Also, they, they uglified the women. Yeah, but, what is up with that? Yeah, but, you know, it's still... Many people are playing and praising the game, saying that it is a very faithful remake. I didn't play it myself, but, I, I mean, I, I got surprised by the reception because I, I was really thinking that it, uh, it, it was, you know, going to be a, a terrible game, you know, but... Well, looks like I looks like at least the fans of the franchise. I mean, the the, the most of them <laughs> disagree with me, <laughs> right? So that's uh, not surprise, you know. Okay, and are you do you, do you think you would want to play it based on what you know now, or well, it's I, still... would, I, I want to play it, especially because I want to review it. You know, like I mentioned to you earlier, I want to do uh, I want to go full reviewing. And getting all the analysis about the games. And this game made me curious because, okay, this game has DI consultancy. I mean, at least, you know, uh, to some degree. But still, many people that follow me are telling that the game is good. It doesn't have anything. Well, okay, I'm curious. Let me see what this game is about them. You know? uh, but I don't want to pay 70 bucks for this. You know? So I don't think I'm going to be playing uh, this game anytime soon. Unless, you know, for... If I receive the key from Blueberry Team for some miracle mm -hmm. <laughs> reason, <laughs> uh, but I don't think they will ever they ever will send one to me. So I right, know nah, I'm not gonna be playing this. Um, uh, not for now, at least. Yeah, or somebody could go on your site, buy you a, a, a coffee for it, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, if my if my followers choose this game for me to review, then okay, mm -hmm. I, I, I'll get it and I'm going to review it. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not going okay. to make, make any promises here. <laughs> <laughs> so biggest surprise uh, that you're looking forward to is this one. Um, you know, not, not, not that I am looking forward to, but it was the, the one that surprised me. That's the biggest surprise, right? So it's the biggest yeah, surprise that, in your and, opinion. Yeah, the game that I was most looking forward to this year I uh, was Space Marine 2, and it was already amazing for me. It's the best game of this year.